Let's solve using the quadratic formula. Remember to write it in standard form, have it set equal to zero, which it is now, and then a is the coefficient of x squared, so a is 1. b is the coefficient of x, b is negative 3, and c is this constant negative 10. And what is our quadratic formula? We'd be solving for x, so x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over. This line runs the entire length all over 2a. So let's go ahead and plug in our values and we will solve. So it's negative b, and b is negative 3, plus or minus the square root of b, remember, is negative 3, so that's negative 3 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is negative 10, and this is all over 2 times a, and a is 1. And there we have it. Let's simplify. Negative, negative 3, that's positive 3, plus or minus the square root of. 3 squared is 9, and we have 9 minus, now be very careful, 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 times negative 10 is negative 40, but this is minus negative 40, so this is plus 40, all over 2. So what does this become? It becomes 3 plus or minus the square root of 49 all over 2, and we just continue simplifying. So this is 3 plus or minus 7 all over 2, and let's see what we have. Since this is 3 plus or minus 7 all over 2, let's go ahead and find out what these two values are. For example, x is equal to 3 plus 7 all over 2, and that is what? Well, 3 plus 7 is 10, 10 divided by 2 is 5, x is also equal to 3 minus 7 all over 2, 3 minus 7 is negative 4, and negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Here are our two solutions to the original quadratic equation.